Well, ever since a young child, like I'm not going to lie, um, I've never had any trouble with my teeth. I, I have never ever been to the dentist in my life. Never ever ever been to the dentist until I met Dr. Richard. And um, he gave me an examination um, of my teeth. The four bottom ones, two of them were, were decaying. I smoke a drink, you know what I mean? Like the back of them, like I'd have the odd I'd be in bed and I'd have a little, I'd be like, oh, what's that? And it'd be like a bit of crumble or something. And um, and they would, I described them as tombstones because the, the bottom four, they were just like overlapping a little bit, just crooked. If I did that, I would never do that. In a, like in pictures now I do. Before, if you looked at my pictures, I would either do or, so it covers my, my, my teeth. But I had two massive, front teeth they were like imagine Madonna without the gap and then the two side ones were very protruding so they, they didn't blend they were like kind of fang style um, I messaged my agent I said I've always wanted them done I've wanted my teeth done for the last 10 years I said if I ever won the lottery if I ever came into money I would get my teeth done teeth are not the cheapest things I think teeth are the most expensive form of surgery if anything I think I think you can have a full sex change cheaper than, t than teeth, you know what I mean? I think it's true. I think you can have boob jobs for like four and a half grand, genitalia surgery for six grand, um, you know what I mean, hips bum. But um, since in my adult life and teenage years, I've never been to the dentist. And good job I did because I came, um, he was about to do them, he said, you've got inflamed gums, so I don't, he said that could be from smoking, it could be from anything. My gums were very inflamed. So I had to go on antibiotics for a week, maybe two. And then, oh my God, these antibiotics worked within two, three days. So I came back and then he started, he got the old drill out and he was drilling away. And then he put the temporaries on. And then you came, obviously they, you need a week or two of them to be made, your individual teeth to be made. Um, Dr. Richards, he, he puts them in individual. Each, to, each tooth is handmade by a certain person. The, I don't know what they call the person who makes teeth, but they're all made individually for your mouth, so you can floss in between them and everything. Teeth just transform you, and I think it's the first, one of the first things people see on a person. I always said, I always say to people when they say, "Oh, Baggy, your teeth look amazing. I want mine done. I'm going to go to Turkey." I'm like, "Girl, no." I wouldn't travel abroad for surgery. I'm sure many people have travelled abroad to surgery and got brilliant results and had a quick fix. But if anything went wrong um, abroad, you know what I mean? They can. You'd have to come back here and they'd have to sort it. So I would say, get it done by a professional and um, one of the best. And um, to me personally, Dr. Richards is one of the the best of the best. And my agent got, um, told me, he said, I'll try and sort it out for you, bagger. And um, within a week, we were, you know what I mean? We were talking on WhatsApp. Oh my God, Dr. Richards is just a lovely man. You know what I mean? We got so much in common, just friendly. I was always at ease when he, not just when he was performing the um, dentistry, but just in person, you know what I mean? He'd, we'd be talking about little mix and TV programs and, you just feel like, you feel like a mate's doing it, you know what I mean? You don't feel like, oh, I'm this person, you know what I mean? We, you have a, we had a connection and he's just very friendly, nice man. My teeth have really improved, improved my confidence 100%. I smile at people now. Before, I would literally, even in conversation, I, and when eating or, I'd always be like that. Like, I'd always have my hand to my face or I'd have my lips put, put together. If I'm doing, if I had amazing makeup and amazing gear, I'd probably pout if in a room. I'd be like, now, if you look at my pictures, I'm like, hey, how are you? You're all right, you're all right, Pam. And um, ever since getting them done, I've had nothing but, wow, they're amazing. Oh my God, bag out, they're the best thing you've ever done. Oh my God, I haven't had one negative thing. I've never had anyone say, why did you get them done? Oh my God, they look horrible. What I would say is you pay, you pay for what you get, basically. You pay for what you get. If you want the real deal and you want teeth that are going to last and teeth that are going to look good and teeth that are going to look real, 
I'd go to somewhere like Dr. Richard's 